and welcome to your Go Market update for today, the 19th of January 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening today. And overnight, of course, we saw a weak session on the US with weak data and earnings concerns really being the narrative as all major indices push to the downside. There is more data and earnings today, so both of these will be in focus as the day progresses. US futures are near neutral in early Asian trading after that sell-off suggesting that it was potentially temporary for now. Uh, Asian indices are cautious on open the ASX, generally ignoring that very weak US lead and trading just below neutral in the first hour. European equity futures are pointing to a slightly weak open and we did see the VIX edge back up to 20 level on that equity weakness. Very choppy session in FX overnight with the US dollar index, managing just to hold eight month lows. But we did see big moves in the Japanese yen, which got hammered earlier in the day, but recovered most of the losses overnight. Gold paused just over that 1900 level and coppers pulled back from its early gains in the day, but managed to hold 420. All also pulled back from a test of resistance. Bitcoin also pulled back from what's been an very very healthy early start to the week but looks as though it may technically reverse and it's pulled back from that 21 level and the candles are suggesting perhaps that's it for now earnings season remains in focus we've got some more big earnings tonight we really ramp up next week and that's when it will really come into focus about how bad or otherwise this earnings season is going to be in today's data we've got australian jobs we've got the euro chair christine lagarde speaking and we've got us housing and manufacturing data all due later on. A couple of charts of interest. It's worthwhile having a look at the price action of the US yen. Yesterday, we saw that extraordinary yen week after that Bank of Japan policy statement. And then we saw this overnight. So we saw all of those gains reversed, plus some, and then a bounce back into this range that we traded in for most of the previous day. So very choppy in the FX market. We're just watching 129 as a key level on the US yen. If we see ourselves push higher than that, then we may well get some buying coming back into this currency pair. On the ASX, we are like in Mount Gibson Iron. You can see that push up now to 65. That's a key level there. You can see this historically. We breached that and we could be moving up towards 75, which would be a significant return of around about 11% if we get anywhere near that. We could pause at around about this 70 level, which would still be a gain of around about 7.5%. So one to watch as the day progresses, without a doubt. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.